Are you tired of falling short of your New Year's resolution to get in shape? Let 2008 be the year you get the body you've always dreamed of. Merritt Athletic Clubs will guarantee you the results or they'll give you your money back. Call 1-800-NEW-SHAPE and ask about the results. Guarantee it, Merritt. It's never Nils Lofkin. It's the great Nils Lofkin. God bless Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> now, you know what? He said something. Did you see the uh, 60 Minutes piece? I did, yeah. He said something. You know, Nelson and I were talking about this the other night. When they, when whoever it was that was doing the interview, I don't even remember who did it now. I don't even remember what the day is. But they said, why do you still do this? And he said, what else am I doing? Well, you know, it's like uh, playing sports or something you're that crazy good at and you love. Uh, it's not something you grow out of. And um, I grew up to be somebody that loves the live environment where you're in front of an audience. You can't fake that. You grow in it. You love it or you don't. And if you don't love it, you find a way to get off the road, usually after 10 or 15 years on the road. And this is uh, this is my 40th year on the road. So last September was 39. And thank God I'm getting to play in one of the great bands in history with one of my favorite singer writers, Bruce Springsteen. And we're headed out in a few weeks. Where is he right now? 548 back east. Where is he? I don't know. Bruce is, you know, we're, we've got two months off. We're going back in three weeks. I'm assuming between the holidays and all that, he's probably uh, doing something as a father for three teenagers. They're pretty, uh, you know, kids need It's a real time. family. They just see him on stage. They well, realize there's 22 other hours in the day. Well, listen, you know, we, I've got a teenage stepson, Dylan, who's great. But, you know, kids need your time. They need you around, especially as teenagers. So I'm sure him and Patty are doing something with the family. And grateful to have some time at home before they hit, hit, hit the road again. I just want to make sure you see this. All right. This is my iPod. Yep. I just, want to make sure, I just want to make sure that you see that I'm not an imposter. <laughs> All 30 of them right there. My 30 favorite. Bobby Jean. I love Bobby Jean. We were doing that in sound checks. Obviously threatening to play it. We haven't played it yet, but it's coming up. First coming night up. Hartford, I'm coming to the show. Okay. Can you break it out? That, did you have any pull with Bruce on that? Or I know. Saw him? He's all Bruce, right? right? I've, the learned, other I've day. learned the hard way. The only, the only way to get Bruce to do a request is if you're, you know, six years old with a sign in the front row. Okay, then, all right. Then, you know, if you're a cute little six-year-old with a sign. 39 in the front row. No. No. Sorry, man. Well, you know, it's funny you said that because you're here to promote the gridiron greats and, and, and the sort of the, the over-the-hill athletes or the, the long and the two, the people that are gone from the game and, and they're physically can't do it. You talked about uh, being an older musician, being on a road for You can do that. Some musicians can do it. Some choose not to do it. And a lot of times people say, well, why doesn't that guy tour anymore? And I think in a lot of ways the adulation, and I know as a child growing up, I mean, I, I loved rock stars and I loved athletes. You know, I love sports and I love music. Those are my two things. Right. And you wonder, why does that guy not tour? or whatever. He's got a real life. He probably has, you know, $50 million in the bank. You either get on that bus because you love it, or you don't get on that bus. Or you get in a studio and that's the kind of person you become. Yeah, and Nestor, you know, I know you, get up, yeah. I, you were going to come and see us in Europe. And, uh, you know, My wife got in, and we didn't go. That's a terrible, I'm sorry. How's your wife doing? She's that? beautiful. She's There's right your, I'm so She's glad well. you're all right. You know the best I'm part? I'm so glad. I was about to make the stupid crack about, you know, <laughs> stiffing our tour. <laughs> I forgot you were ill, and I'm glad you're well, doing wait a better. Minute. Bruce got sick too in Amsterdam. And came Bruce to the moved show, the show. So. Yeah, but he did the show the next night. Right. Well, we couldn't have been there. We had a flight home the next night. A mere yeah. flight home. Peanuts. Bother me. Flight home. Springsteen, I'd have been there. You were there you know getting ready to okay. sing can, for you. You had. Can I have your forgiveness? Because yes. seriously, yes, I'm two days show. after we got home, and I was bummed that we weren't going to the show. You put the European dates on, and you're doing the same cities in stadiums. And I don't think there's any way to explain. Can you express to our audience just what it's like to be on a stage in Italy or Spain or even South America?